Hello, David, how are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Nice, nice. Okay, hoy sí, ya. ¿Cuánto sabemos? Uno. <laughs> ah, va. Nice. ¿Qué pasó? Me estaban poniendo ahí. Yo creo que ya no hay clases hoy. <ríe> eso le iba a decir, teacher, que no voy a hacer que se confundan. Sí, no, ya por eso les escribí. Ya les escribí. Lamentablemente aquí no hay forma de llamarlos. <ríe> ¿Verdad? No hay forma de llamarlos. Yo en Teams lo llamo cuando alguien no se ha conectado, pero aquí no puedo llamarlos. Machine, 30 de agosto, Barcha. We are still missing, ay Padre Santo, ¿cuántos oyentes tengo? ¿Quién es Sierra? Eh, yo, dicho. ¿Quién es yo? El de Cristina. Ah, Elda. Ok. Ya, ya me cambio el nombre. Ok, Elda Cristina. Elda Cristina. Diana. ¿Y quién es Hey? ¿Quién es Hey, el de la araña? ¿Quién es Hey el de la araña? ¿Alguien sabe? A ver. <ríe> Ay, vaya, Carla. Adriana. Adriana Jiménez es Adriana Marcela, ¿verdad? Creo ya que sí. Adriana Marcela. Ay, Adriana Marcela, qué triste este curso se lo tiró de oyente todo el curso. Y aquí tengo a Edwin. Vaya, yo solamente recordarles 
que eh, su compromiso con el programa que ustedes han firmado no es solamente de estar conectados por la tenda, sino que de trabajar activamente en cada una de las actividades que se les comparten, porque el propósito pues, de INSAFOR para hacer este tipo de programas es que ustedes aprendan, ¿verdad? Y que puedan ser exitosos en sus trabajos y poder tener mejores oportunidades que se pueden obtener si usted aprende el idioma, no solamente si usted obtuvo el cartón que dice que cursó el curso, pero si no ha estado en clases activo, solamente estuvo conectado, pero no escuchó nada, eh, ¿qué pudo haber aprendido ahí tanto? ¿Verdad? Entonces es una humilde reflexión que les dejo para que... Eh, piensen y hagan su, su esfuerzo. Yo felicito a la gente que está conectada y que está activa y que siempre está lista para aprender y estudiar y que si le cuesta, pues, este, hace el esfuerzo. Y también felicito a los que van manejando y van escuchando y van contestando allí, que yo entiendo, por supuesto, no puede leer, ¿verdad? No puede escribir, pero puede escuchar y puede hablar y con eso nos hace un montón y con eso usted va aprendiendo. Pero mi observación, chicos, y como docente es mi obligación hacerlo, es mi observación, es para todos los que han estado solamente conectándose por asistencia, pero que a la larga, no me puede decir que sí está de oyente, porque solamente está conectado, pero oyente es el que oye. Y si usted no me está oyendo, no es oyente. O sea, no sé si me explico ahí. ¿Verdad? Así es que yo, yo espero que los cuatro días que faltan después de hoy, los que están de oyente, lamentablemente, son los mismos casi siempre. Busquen la manera... De, de, de plano conectarse y estar activo. Imagínense qué tal que la clase fuera presencial. No me podría decir usted, mire, teacher, voy a venir aquí a, a, a la institución, pero yo voy a estar con mi computadora trabajando mientras usted trabaja y da la clase a los demás que están allá. Entonces, lamentablemente, eso es lo que está pasando y créanme que a mí me preocupa. Porque es bien difícil cuando yo mando gente a trabajar a grupos y de repente me dicen, teacher, pero yo estoy solita porque aquí no hay quien. Y yo mandé cuatro personas y de las cuatro solamente hay una. Y las otras tres están conectados, pero en realidad no están. Entonces, crean, a mí como docente me preocupa, ¿verdad? Porque mi objetivo, pues, no es solamente estar aquí yo y con tres, sino que con los 23 que se comprometieron al principio de hacer todo el detalle y de estudiar y de participar, porque es un compromiso el que ustedes tienen. Y chequen, yo recogí notas el día de anoche y he reportado ahí un montón de ceros. Ceros porque unidades número tres todavía están vacías. Entonces yo no le puedo poner una nota que no tiene. Pero yo tengo que reportar mi lista a tiempo, ¿verdad? Y eso yo se los vengo diciendo desde el primer día. La lista está reportada a tiempo. Si usted tiene completada la plataforma, que galán, yo le pongo nota. Pero si su plataforma todavía a mí me indica que usted no ha trabajado, yo le pongo cero. Porque si yo dejo el espacio en mi lista, eso implica como que yo fui de la irresponsable y no recogí las notas de mis alumnos. ¿Estamos? Entonces, no es posible. O sea, recuerden, es un programa serio. ¿Sí? Es un programa serio y lo que se espera es 
que con el compromiso que ustedes han hecho, tanto con inglés corporativo como con INSAFOR, que usted pueda responder de acuerdo a su compromiso. ¿Verdad? Así es que felicidades pues a todos los que están dando el máximo de su esfuerzo y que están haciendo lo mejor y, ahí, y invito, ¿verdad? Invito a los demás que solo se me están conectando para estar nada más con la asistencia, por favor, uh, haga lo posible por estar en clase y por participar siquiera, siquiera un poco, ¿verdad? Entonces, se los digo así porque lamentablemente la situación se ha estado repitiendo demasiado, demasiado. Eh, empezó como juego uno, dos, diciendo estoy de oyente y hoy lamentablemente se me reportan cinco, seis, siete como oyentes y otros que no se reportan, pero que tampoco están activos y, y tampoco me están trabajando. Entonces, Allí la situación a mí me la complican cuando yo mando a la gente a trabajar en equipos y no hay, ¿verdad? Así es que ese era mi comercial para que ustedes, eh, bueno, lo vayan tomando en cuenta, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Let's check the attendance for today. Tell me present. Adriana Sofía. Present. Ana Alicia. Ana. Ana Grisel. David Alexander. Diego Batres. Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. ¿Cómo sigue, Elda? Todavía me cuesta un poco hablar. Ándale. Bueno, hay que tomar tecito, ¿verdad? Y sí. Así, es... Todas las instrucciones. <coughs> Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. Teacher. Elmer, le voy a jalar las orejas, fíjese. Teacher, perdón. Teacher, teacher, perdón. Ya sabe por qué le voy a jalar las orejas, ¿verdad, Elmer? Ay, que sí, ya sé. Uh -huh. Póngase al día. Sí, ahora. Después de la clase me pongo al día. Y no me vaya a hacer estarle oh. recordando el próximo lunes que tienen que hacer el examen final y la unidad 4, por favor. No, Hoy ya toca no. la primera tarea de la unidad 4. David. Presente, Chan. No escuché que me hablara. No me oyó. Ah, vale. No. Ahí está. Ya le puso present. Diego no está, ¿verdad? Ed, Edwin. Edwin, Edwin. Present, teacher. Ok. Eh, Grace Michelle. Grace, Grace. Ivo Marcela, Jennifer Elizabeth, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer es la de la arañita que dice que no hay clases hoy, no verdad, no está, ¿quién es la de la arañita? ¿Mm? A mí solo me aparece Hey. 
Vamos a ver. José Alberto. Present teacher. Jessica. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lice Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Karen Karen. No hay Karen. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Vamos a ver alguien que poquito veo yo. Alguien no yo que lo llamé. Hay uno, por lo menos uno que no me dijo present que sí está. Jennifer, Yvonne, Grace, Diego, Ana Grisel, Ana Alicia, no, Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Ana. que se le había pasado que me perdió al día de ayer Rosy, Rosy, Rosy también se me perdió el día de ayer sí, chévere, que se me inflamó este, una rodilla, me decían que era ácido úrico, ¿verdad? pero después pasé consulta y me dijeron que no y me dieron una pastilla que me puso toda mareada con vómito y todo entonces no me pude conectar qué feo pero tan bichita y con ácido úrico, no le creo. No, 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 no es eso, Tiche, pero de la nada se me inflamó. Uy. Y no soy tan bichita, Tiche, en serio. Claro que sí. Pero le hicieron radiografía. No es que de la nada, solo me revisó el doctor porque sí andaba bien inflamado. Pero me dijo que no eran las articulaciones, pero tampoco me golpeé ni nada. Solo los que rayos, sí, este, bien crujiente mi rodilla. <ríe> Ay, no. Es que mire, ya cuando uno llega a cierta edad, ya le pasa de todo. Ah. Es lo que le digo, Tiche. No <ríe> y me va a decir, Rosy, Tiche, tampoco soy tan viejita. Ay, no, qué barbaridad. Vaya, pues. Well, we finish August. No, today no, ¿verdad? We finish August tomorrow. Tomorrow, teach. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Well, this is our class number 21, Assessing Risk. We're going to be talk about assessing risk. What is a risk? Hmm? What is a risk? Mm -hmm. Risk is the probability uh -huh. of um, the match. Uh -huh. Probability of getting the, or, or the probability that happens is something suddenly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But something bad, right? something bad so when you yeah. run a risk um, it's something that we wish we didn't have to run that in a, in a company or in a business right, as we're talking about business in this course sometimes we have to we have to assess or we have to run some risk if we want to have success in the business. So that's something that's no way, right? By a check. Uh, look at the questions here. Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? 
What do you think it means? Why should organizations design and be trained to apply one? Why? Why do you think? Vamos a jalar esto para acá. Why do you think, why should organizations design and be trained to apply one risk assessment? Okay, so that's what you're going to discuss right now with your partners. Vamos a ver. I'm going to stop sharing. You go to your manual. That's page number 33, right? Page number 33. I'm going to make rooms. Um, and I'm going to send you to work. Hmm, 18. I'm going to make groups of three. Mm -hmm. did you find the questions? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, you Gotcha, perfect. Me salen cabalitas la, los grupos. Ok. Let's go. Try to join, right? Try to join. Mm -hmm. Anna tried to join. Who are here? Anna Grisel is here. Ana Grisel. Ya le traigo algo. No, here, Ana Grisel. Es esta conversación, ¿verdad? Perdón, estas. The questions. Estas questions. <laughs> Okay. Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Yes, I hear the term in uh, in an, in another companies. Yes. What do you think it means? I see that is necessary because of the um, uh, okay. term, term, the term risk assessment. In my case, I yes, I heard the term risk. What do you see in means? Mm -hmm. Hola. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. Teacher, ¿qué tengo que hacer? Pero quiero ver si todavía estoy en el grupo. Sí, todavía. You're going to discuss some questions over there. Go to page 33. Oh, okay. 
page 33 and discuss the questions. Teacher, ¿cuándo termina el curso? Es que hoy estuve avanzando en las tareas. Next Monday. Next. Ya va a terminar. Yes. Y solo me falta la última. Yes. El último examen. Um, we finish next Monday. Por cierto, la tarea 3.3 creo que era. La que era decir, can you tell me? Ajá. La última, no importa cómo la puse, me salió mal. Sí, eso me dijo novia. No sé si sería por, por, por no sé, por un punto o algo así. I'm going to check. Ah, aquí está. Ay, vamos a ver. La 3.3. Sí, la, la, la. Creo que esa era. Sí, la 3.3 es. Yo puse, can you tell me if they work in Canadá? Y también puse, can you tell me if they do work in Canadá? Y las dos me salen mal. <coughs> No, can you tell me if they work in Canada? La pone buena. ¿Se la pone buena? Sí. Entonces no lleve el if. ¿Será que no le? No, can you tell me if they work in Canada? ¿Cómo la puso usted? Eh, eh, no, la, 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 se la voy a mandar al WhatsApp para que, ¿Mm? que vea. Porque le tomé una captura para pedir ayuda, pero igual. Me salió mal. Sí. Ya la mandé. Ay, es que quizás le ponen el acento acá, Nata. No, no se lo puse. Créame que también me fijé en eso. O sea, <ríe> en esa le puse de tú, pero en la anterior le quité el do y también me salía mala. Ah, pero yo la acabo de hacer. Ya habrán arreglado el... <ríe> en la plataforma. No lo he reportado. Okay. Yo queriendo escribirle acento y me pone solo acento. Ay, teléfono. Vamos a Estoy ver. Estoy sintiendo mal. Where did you write? Ay, ay, ay. Ay, es que quítele el du, Karen. Espérenme, se lo voy a quitar, pero estoy segura que también lo puse sin el du. Y, y me salió mal. Porque ya le voy a enseñar. Ok, el do. Entonces quedaría, can you tell me if they work in Canadá, ¿verdad? Mire, can you tell me if they... Mire que esta fatiguera ahorita sí ya me la dio. Vaya, ya vi. No la sé qué le pasa. Que le había cuenta. puesto acento a Canadá o le había puesto... Tú, o, o le había omitido el question mark o le había puesto you en vez de they cualquier cosa puede pasar sí o oh, yo creo que el signo de pregunta lo dejé un poco separado ah sí es que es bien sensible la verdad de platform if you put something extra o you omit something that gives you problem y fíjese que hay en la Cristina, creo que no está trabajando. ¿Quién? 
Voy a traer. Ya no va a jalar. Lo voy a ir moviendo. Vale. Teacher en inglés. Eh, sí, Pero ahorita, ahorita confirmamos con la teacher que, que nos okay. había abandonado. Eso es horrible, Teacher, perdón. Este, ahorita solamente estamos, estamos contestando una pregunta uno. Sí. Solo, ¿Me corrí? Solamente, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Vaya. Aquí estaba conmigo Elmer también, pero como que se le fue el Inter. Ay, se salió, yo lo mandé para otra parte. No, se le fue el Inter, creo yo. Cierto. Ah, yo pensé que eran las preguntas que están abajo de la discusión. No, no, no hemos llegado ni a la discusión todavía. Ya, ya lo vi, ya, ya vi las preguntas que dice. Peter, una pregunta con, con respecto a estas preguntas, para la redundancia. Sí. Este, el tema de la gestión de riesgo eh, viene detallado y es lo que estamos discutiendo con Elmer. Uh -huh. Es con el tema de seguridad industrial o con el tema de de negocios, de creación de negocios. Eh, las dos cosas. Okay. Sí, porque pues, como hablamos de hazards, eso tiene uh -huh. que ver con seguridad industrial. Ok, yes, eh, because eh, Elmer and me eh, are workers de the industrial, the company industrial, then the the Risk assessment is in, in this, indispensable, ¿cómo sería? Is necessary. Is necessary, but the, but the execution of the operation. If there is no security, who can get And the company will do that. Entonces, ¿Quiere que coloquemos a algo de texto o solamente lo discutimos, Fichas? Uh, discuss and be ready to, to share. Ok. <laughs> and you, Karen, what, where do you work? And the first question, have you ever heard the term risk assessment? We accord yes. to, yes, we, 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 we know we about, know. Uh -huh. we, we know, know about, about the term risk assessment. Uh -huh. And the second question. What do you think it means? Is it's mean? Uh -huh. It is it it's mean. About All the probabilities ah. for is about to prevention to to risk or accident. Um, what do you think about this? It is mean about all the probabilities for prevention of any risk situation 
or dangerous. Hi, hi, how are you doing here? Teacher, finish. Finished. Finish our discussion. Okay, let's go then. Only the only questions. the questions. Yeah, yes. only the questions. Mm -hmm. Coming, coming, coming. Vamos a ver. Let's. Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Yes, yes, no teacher. Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, of course. A little, a lot. Yes. Uh, more or less. Okay, what do you think it means? Mm -hmm. I think that it's very important. <clears throat> mm -hmm to guarantee the safety and health protection, pr protection of the workers in a company. Definitely, definitely. What happens if, the, if a company doesn't design uh, any plans for protecting the employees? Close the company. Mm -hmm. How do you say multa? Multa. Mm -hmm. Multa. A fine. Mm -hmm. Yes, they can get a fine. Fine. A fine. That. Yes. Aha, uh -huh, because now the laws protect the employees, right? And they should have all the necessary equipment to be safe. And if there is no security at the workplace and, the, and the, the worker is running risk or danger, the company is punished, right? Can get a fine. Okay. Why should organizations design and be trained to apply one risk uh, assessment? Why? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Okay, teacher, I'm gonna comment about this. Uh -huh. yeah. In our group, in our group, we was discussing. We were discussing about this. Um, it's important that our company design and apply one risk program to prevent all risks. Um, the risk can be eliminated for all, only can be reduced mm -hmm. and, manage, and managed. Managed. So, mm -hmm. so uh, many company apply some program to, to reduce the, the, the risk. The risk. So, uh, so assurance policy and other program of prevention. In some case, the laboral, laboral laws in our country are implementing some, some process to save the life of those employees in case of earthquake or fire. If, if a company doesn't apply a, a program of risk assessment has a risk high uh, has a highest risk 
and it can be or it can it can I don't know how to say it, pero puede provocar can provoke several several loss for owner of the company things things economics loss to life loss definitely and of course they have to respond if somebody dies in the company uh, precisely because of the lack of, of a safety plan, right? I don't know if you remember a couple of years where that there was a, a very horrible accident. A man that fell, they were making a, a building, a building, a high building here in San Salvador. And he fell and he was not taking any, but any safety measure. And he fell from a very, I don't remember if it was one or two, but he fell of a very high place and he was not tied to anything. So if he had been tied, probably he wouldn't have died. But he was not taking any safety measure. Then he fell. And of course he died and it was very, very sad. And that happens when the companies do not design a plan to, to keep the security of the employees, right? Okay, anybody wants to comment on that topic? Teacher, me? Yes, tell me. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Well, let's go to Elmer first and then who was the next one? Anna. No. Oh, Carla. Carla. Okay, tell me, oh. Elmer. Yeah, in my company, uh, industrial software cards are given every day to minimize and properly control the risk that will not be eliminated. Yeah. The it's very difficult to in eliminate it completely, right? But at least you can yeah. avoid some situations. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because years ago, there have been serious two. Then company have uh, initiative. The initiative? Uh -huh. The company have initiative and give every day to a uh, safari industrial control. So they give instructions to the employees on how to, how to deal with different situations. Okay. Yeah, and definitely that is a really important that the companies uh, keep those measures and the employees of course have to follow, right? The instructions that the companies uh, give. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Elmer. Carlita? And okay. in, in my company is very important because I work in the construction. And then I, uh, uh, sometimes there are many accidents, fatal accidents. And mm -hmm. I have seen uh, many people die or many people have accidents. Uh, Serious accidents, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's an uh, obligation in the company to instruction to people to, to work. Safety, right? That's the, yeah. that's the very important thing, to be safety all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. What happens, Carlita, is you work in the construction, right? What happens, because sometimes the company may have some politics, but the employees say like, nah, I know, but I don't want to wear it because it, it takes too much time or they are late and they have to be running and they don't want to use the equipment. What happens if the company sees an employee 
that is not following the safety instructions. In the last company that I work here, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the employees uh, are they punished? Se quita, se quita, se, se despide. Uh -huh. Oh, se they despide. are removed. They are removed yes. from their work. Yes, removed, yes. Yeah, because that's a big responsibility, right? And the, yes. whole, and the company has to respond to the Minister of, of Labor and has to respond to the family. That's okay. a really big responsibility one that you have. Okay. In, in, in some cases, it's the, uh, are, are the employees uh, uh, give three, uh, three amonestaciones uh -huh. and the, and the tears is, uh, uh, is quit, but in all other times at the first. Verbal. Yes. Verbal first and then greeting, right? Yes, but, but uh, ya por último, at the eh, end. A la primera se despedían. Yeah, because imagine what about you tell uh, Pedrito, don't forget to wear your helmet and to tie perfectly when you go very high. But Pedro doesn't do it. And you told him that there is nothing written that says that, yes, you did it. And what about if he has an accident, right? In that case, a... Uh, the verbal amonestation will not have a value in the Ministry of Labor, right? So that's a very, very big responsibility for, for the company. And probably you have to pay a fine or something, right? And of course, the loss of the person. Okay, thank you, Carlita. I don't know if there is somebody else who wants to talk about that. Another volunteer? Mm -hmm. No more. Okay, let's go to the conversation then. Check the conversation. We are in the same page, right? Page 33. We have, here we have two managers discussing about risks and hazards at different locations in the company. Okay, we have Marcos and Josue talking. And he says, let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric born. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now, I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity risk, value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, what are they talking about here? Hmm? What are they doing? What are they doing? <clears throat> In the list of hazard and safety. Yes. The hazards, first they identify the hazards and then the safety measures, right? which are the measures that they can take in different situations. Now, let's repeat after the teacher. Uh, let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Uh, 
Let me Let check me if the list of after of safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks. Measures for electric shocks. For electric shocks. For electric board. For electric board. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan? How would you finish the first draft for the office safety plan? Yet? Yeah. Already, Marcos. Already, Already Marcos. Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Now I work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks. Because we haven't made much progress on that. Because, because we, we haven't have made much progress that. All right. All right. All right. Then I work on establishing the incident prob probabilities. Then, then I, I work, work on establishing the incident probabilities. The potential severity. The, the potential, potential severity, risk <clears throat> value, and risk level. Risk value and risk level. That sounds good. That, that sounds good. So good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, very good. Now, let's get ready to practice the conversation. I'm going to send you in pairs for you to practice the conversation and answer the questions. Okay? Ready, ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher, ya puedo participar, ya terminé de trabajar. Okay, thank you, Adriana. Vamos a ver. I'm going to make you a 21. I will have one group of, well, one trio, right? Mm -hmm. está. Se me perdió alguien. Who got lost in the middle? Bueno, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Try to join. Try to join, Ana. No la vi en el grupo anterior que lograr entrar. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. No la veo que entre a los grupos. Acabo de ingresar, teacher, sorry. Okay. <laughs> of hazard and safari measure in, is complete. Measure for electric shock of electric 
room. I know, but I'm for electric board. Yeah, it is how you finish it. The first draft for the office a very planchet. Already, Marcus. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That's sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the weekend. Pero que me cuesta darle tono okay. de preguntas cuando son preguntas. <laughs> ok, and you, Marcos. I am Marcos now. Ok, let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? All right, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plane for the for reporting hazard and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity risk value and risk level that sounds good we want to have everything ready by the end of the week excellent okay answer the question the question okay who who has worked on the office safety plan who has worked on the safe, on the office safety plan? Okay. Who has worked in the the safe hardware? Uh, work on the plan the, for reporting hazards and incidents, maybe. Okay. Plan. Who has worked? Um, has worked in Osoe. Was Marcus um Marcus ask? Finishes the first draft on the office safety. Yes. Already, Marcus. Uh -huh. Now I work. It'll work. Seria mm -hmm. Okay. Number two. Mm -hmm. oh, no. mm -hmm. All work on the plane to report case and incident. No, este, la uno creo que sería Marcos. Who oh, were in the plan to report? Yes, Verga. Si lo puedes subir. Sí, dice, déjame checar la lista. Uh -huh. Sí, Marcos. It is. It is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. No, I'll work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I'd work on uh, 
on establishing the incident prob probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. One more time. Hi, teacher. Hi. We finished. Excellent. I'm just checking a couple of more groups and then I call you. Josue will work on the plan to report hazard and incidents. Y aquí es Marco. Marcos. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. En la primera sería así. Marcos has worked o Marcos has been worked. No, has worked is okay. Has worked, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. By the way, la no, otra. There is, there is a moment when the present perfect and the present conti eh, perfect continuous are very similar and that is the case. So you can you can perfectly use the present perfect or the present perfect continuous and it will not make a difference in this. In, in this? In this context. And when you, how can you identify? Uh, when you're answering the question, how long? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're answering the question, how long? You can say, how long have you been studying at Inglés Corporativo? And you say, well, I have been studying at Inglés Corporativo for uh, seven months, right? I mm -hmm. have studied at Inglés Corporativo for seven months. But I have been studying at Inglés Corporativo for seven months. So it is the same. There is okay. no difference in that case. Okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. And the last one. What is an area of the week's asset assessment process in which the managers haven't progressed much? Mm. Because I can controlling risk, verdad? Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello. I finished. How are you? I feel fine. No Wait. Ready to go? Yes. Vamos. Yes. Okay. Let's see, let's see. I want a couple of volunteers. Meditator. Okay. Who will be my other volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer. Just one. One more, one more. Ahí viene, Rosy. Vaya, Rosy. You will be my volunteer. Ok, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> ya vio que me cuesta. <laughs> y Rosy así como que volunteer teacher. So nice. Come on now. Vaya, go ahead, Rosy. Ok, ¿con quién me toca, Tichi? Conmigo, Karen. Karen. Sí. Ok. Mi Marcos. Ok. Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shock, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plane yet? All right, Marcos. Now I will work on the plan for reporting hazard and incidents. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. 
All right, then I will work on establish, establishing the incidence probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That's not good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Rosie and Karen. I need two more volunteers to read the conversation. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. And who's the other me? Diego. Elmer. No, yo. ¿Quién es Alberto, yo? teacher. Ay, Alberto. ¿Quién es yo? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Who's Marcos? Me. You. Okay. okay. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric bone, yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I will work on the plan for reporting hazard and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't uh, made much progress on that. All right, then I will work on establishing the incident probabilities and the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, okay. perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. And now let's go to the questions, right? Let's see the questions. Who has worked on the office safety plan? Who? Mr. Josue worked on the office Josue. safety plan. Josue has worked in the office safety plan. Very good. Who will work on the plan to report hazards? Josue has worked on the hazard and accidents reporting plan. Okay. What is an area of the risk assessment process in which managers haven't progressed much? In what area? Hong Kong. Uh -huh. Can you repeat that? In what area? The controlling risk. Controlling risk, yes. On, on controlling risk. So they problem. have to work on that because they they haven't finished. They have worked, but mm, very little, right? Not much. Okay. Vamos a ver. Uh, see. Time for the attendance. Oops. Let's see. A. Adriana Sofía. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. Me pareció haberla visto por allí. Ana Grisel. No. No, 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 no. Eh, David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego. No hay Diego. No ve. Uh -huh. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Hilda Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Grace. Grace Michelle. Está por allí Grace Michelle. No. Ivo Marcela. Ivo, Ivo, no, verdad, tampoco. Jennifer Elizabeth. 
Jennifer. No, Jennifer. Jessica Lisette. Jessica. José Alberto. Present. Karen Janet. Present, ya. Carla Lorena. Present, teacher. Liseta Ayanara. Present, teacher. Nubia. Present, teacher. Ok, Nubia. Y Rebeca, Marcela. Present, teacher. Rosy. Present, teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Y José Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Bueno. How are you today? Happy. Fine. Fine. Very good. Fíjense qué montón de espacios que tengo allí, pero bueno. No, no, no está quizá. Bueno, pues, let's continue. Ok. Let's talk about the vocabulary here. Check the vocabulary. Remember? We're talking about risk, we're talking about hazards, we're talking about safety, we're talking about safety measures, and all things that we have to consider if we do not want to have an accident at work, right? Now, check. Uh, you have the words risk, hazard, exposure, safety measure, irreversible, damage, and pre precautionary, right? That sounds kind of strange, it's precautionary. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, no sé si dejarlos trabajar solititos. solitos. We can't do it. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to match the, the words with the definitions. And then we'll share. Five minutes. Because in the next activity, we definitely have to go to, a, to the rooms, right? We definitely have to go, but we can do this individual. Mm -hmm. You have risk, hazard, exposure, safety measure, and precautionary. Let me know when you finish. Five more minutes. Finish, teacher. Excellent.
Everybody finished? Yes, teacher, not teacher. Everybody finished? Yes. I finished, teacher. <laughs> okay, excellent. We have two that <laughs> Two that have finished, what about the others? Mm -hmm. Ready, right? I get a pen. What is everybody finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. No teacher. No yet. Yes, teacher. Finished, teacher. Okay, perfect. Bacha, check the first one. It says consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to. Okay. To undo. To undo. Irreversible damage. Number huh? five. What is Number it? Number five. Irreversible, Irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. Irreversible. Irreversible damage is number five. Okay. And to protect someone, something from hazardous situations. Mm -hmm. What is safety measure? Number four. Number four. Six. I have number six. Six. Number six. Precautionary. Precautionary. Yes. And procedure to get something dangerous from happening. Uh, is for safety measure. Safety mm -hmm. measure. Okay. Number four. Four. Yes. Likelihood or ha of harm in a specific circumstances. Number two, hazard. Number two, are you sure? Likelihood of harm in a specific circumstances. I think is that, but I think I'm number one sure. teacher. Number one, that's at risk. Yes, that's a risk. I'm protected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Three. Exposure. Mm -hmm. Exposure. How Exposure. 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 And the last one. Potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. <laughs> that is not the risk. That is hazard. <laughs> A hazard. It's hazard. Hazard is danger. Es como, bueno, lo, según el, el, el traductor es peligro, que es diferente a riesgo. Exactly. Y es, es a danger, right? A hazard is a danger. For example, if you say hazardous, it's similar to dangerous. It's a synonym of dangerous. When you have a risk, it's not necessarily a danger, right? But hazard is definitely a danger, a dangerous situation. Okay, any question here? Question. Okay. No, question. Okay, perfect. In the next activity that I told you, here you will work in groups. Check. You will brainstorm examples 
of workplace hazards, remember hazards we said are dangers, right? Of hard, uh, work hazards related to each of the categories in the chart. You have office hazards, hazardous substances, hazards and risks, electricity and fire hazards, slips, trips, and false risks. Slips es cuando se desliza. That's a, a, a risk, right? Trips es cuando se tropieza. Eh, que, por ejemplo, a veces, imagínense algo que se me ocurre a mí en la oficina, right? One colleague connected eh, that his computer is here and he's connected from the other side. And the wire is crossing all the room. That can be a risk of tripping. Right? Trip, que de que alguien pase y que se tropiece. Right? That's a that's a risk of trip. And fall are like, you know what is fall, right? Yes. What is a fall? Hmm? La caída. Caídas, exactly. Fall son las caídas. Yeah. Slips, deslizón. Trips, tropiezo, o que se tropiece alguien. And the other falls que son caídas. Any question there about vocabulary? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué dijo que era trip? Tropezarse. Ah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Any other question? No, verdad, ya todo lo demás ya lo sabemos. <laughs> ok, vaya pues, independientemente, oye, del de lugar de trabajo, siempre tenemos riesgo, right? So, those are the ones that you're going to describe. Vamos a ver, I'm going to send you now in groups of four. We can make bigger groups now. Hola. Pero, este, vamos a colocar... Los ejemplos de lugar de trabajo sí. o los ejemplos de riesgo. De riesgo de en el lugar de trabajo. Okay. <laughs> examples of workplace hazards. Ay, espérame, le subrayo y ya no le estoy compartiendo. We're talking about hazards, pero hazards, no cualquier hazard. Hazards at the workplace. Yes. Workplace hazards. Cualquier peligro, pero en el lugar de trabajo, no en la calle. En la calle ya sabemos que hay un montón. ¿Verdad? Pero vamos a hablar de los peligros en el lugar de trabajo. ¿Ok? Any other question? Question. No questions. Mm. No teacher. Bye. Vámonos pues. There we go. Uh, vale, le dije que en grupos of four lo voy a mandar, ¿verdad? Cinco por cuatro, veinte, uno, acá de tres. Sí. <ríe> Yo en mis matemáticas. Vaya, vamos a ver. Y esperemos que todo el mundo esté, ¿verdad? Va, te digo. Go ahead, try to join.
try to join Helmen. Sí. Okay, bueno. Por favor. Me avisan, me avisan cuando puedan ver ya. ¿Ya? Bueno. Ah, pues empecemos si quieren. Eh, yo había buscado y está Metal Fatigue. En Office Hazard. Sí. Metal. Mental. Mental Fatigue. Se escribe Fatigue. Uh -huh. okay. mm, quiero ver, otro podría ser como dolores musculares, se me ocurría, pero quiero ver. Postura al fatigue también. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Quiero ver qué más podría ser en la oficina. Estrés, definitivamente. ¿Qué más? Yo creo que con eso es que vayamos llenando, teniendo algo. Sí. Vale. Quiero ver ese de Hassan. Hassan. ¿Y otras sustancias? Sí. Hassan 2. Entonces, eh, how do you say lejía? No sé. Fatiga en la postura. Pero en inglés, please. No me quieren hacer caso, Tichi. Mentira. Ay. Gran ponedero. Ergonomic rigs. Ergonomic rigs, ok. Um, pero no lo estás escribiendo. Como no, ahí está. Para usted que está lento tu internet, ¿qué está? <risa> El internet, se me la culpa. Okay. <risa> <risa> Calmate. ¿Qué más? Short circuit, force, ergonomic rigs. Eh... ¿Qué más en la oficina? Este... Caída de objetos altos. No sé, en los estantes. That you may fall down. Uh, the, the, the right, the falling object, maybe. Mm -hmm. Bueno, te metes una grapa en el dedo. ¿Por qué están tan calladitos por aquí? <risa> Los desconozco. Lo que pasa, teacher, es que nos dividimos los peligros y cada uno los está haciendo es, para luego intercambiar. Pero es un group work para que les abunde, es mejor trabajar juntitos. Por eso, ya nos vamos a dar la respuesta. <risa> Ay, para cuando estén queriendo dar la respuesta, ya me lo llevé. <risa> Qué mala la teacher. Ya lo está haciendo a propósito, está bien. No le hubiéramos dicho la táctica. 
Teacher, ¿cómo se dice contusión en inglés? Uy, no sé. Preguntémosle. Es que a... se escribe concusión, pero no sé cómo decirlo. Preguntémosle a Cambridge. <risa> Mm -hmm. Vamos a preguntar la cosa. Ah, bueno, aquí está Cambridge. Dice Cambridge. Mm. Pero con contusión que no es cuando se golpea la cabeza. Uh -huh. Correcto. A Bruce dice que es. ¿Cómo dice? Bruce. Moss. Contusion. Contusion. Ah, casi igual se oye. Contribution, pero no. Preguntamos a Collins. Pues. A contribution, 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 sinónimo. Oh. A sinónim of a contusión is bruise, injury, swelling, trauma. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yo puse... Office has a, a danger in the office is sleeping due to the various slippery floor and having a con, contusion on the head. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues sí, contusion puede ser también contusion. Contusion, listen. Contusion. 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 Mm -hmm. A contusion. Okay, teacher, thank you. A contusion, a bruise, pero un bruise es, es como cuando usted se dobla el pie, por ejemplo. Se hace un bruise, pero es que un bruise es como un morete. Right? Ya terminaron. Ready to share antes de que la teacher se lo lleve. Ok. Ahorita le comparto yo la mía. Por electrical. Por electrical hazard. I have explosion. Overloading circuits. Mm -hmm. um, and electrocutions. Electrocutions. Electro y, para, y para fire hazard, uh -huh. I have high heating. Heating or heating, teacher? Heating. Heating. And other hazard is smoke near from flammable substance. Mm -hmm. That's all. Flamable, flam, sustain. Wow. En este chat no se pueden eliminar mensajes. <laughs> no. No, verdad. Es que lo mandé en español. Ya lo, ya, ya lo, ya lo, ya lo mandé en inglés. <laughs> sí, este chat no deja que lo borre. Bien feo. Sí, verdad. No puede decir una cosa ahí que no es algo que, que no sean debidas porque queda en evidencia. Exacto. <ríe> ya. Menos mal que me equivoqué ahorita. Uh, I finish hazard and risk and ¿Y cierre. Ah. Mira, ya que ya que está por aquí te voy a hacer una pregunta. Ah, ya sé que me va a preguntar. Mira, vení. Pero se quiere con vos. Pero que yo quiero. Fíjate que yo pedí. Que tenía que comer, uh -huh. Fíjate que yo pedí. Bueno, pedimos. Pues sería así. Pero, pero. Manejar el silencio. Mamá será diferente. La mía, la de arroz y la de. Uh -huh. de, de Chamín. Vaya, no está hablando con Rebeca Grace, ¿verdad? Rebecca, hello. 
no estaba hablando con usted, Grace. Estaba no. hablando con alguien más, ¿verdad? Ah, va. Sí, porque no queremos oír la pregunta. Nosotros no voy a hacer. Grace, uh -huh. Michelle. Grace, Michelle. Hello, hello, hello. Grace, Michelle. La perdimos. Yes, creo que no está conectada, dicha. Si sí, ahí estaba, acaba de estar hablando con algún compañero de trabajo. No le pre o sea, no, no como, no como. No está trabajando. No. Va, me la llevo entonces a usted. Ok. Hello. Hello, teacher. Vaya, ¿cómo vamos? Ya tú. Finished. Solo falta que compartamos los últimos dos. Ok. Por ahí les traje. Ah. Pues ¿Para dónde mandé a Rebeca? <ríe> ah, la mandé al otro grupo. Ah, pues no, yo les decía, ahí les traje, pero no, no les traje nada. Vaya, pues. Share. Ya casi, ya casi, ya casi. Ya me lo voy a llevar, en serio. Por eso quiero que discutan ya, porque yo ya me lo voy a llevar. Five minutes más. Ten minutes más. Me lo voy a llevar y no van a haber discutido nada por estar individual, si es trabajo en equipo. Penitencia, teacher. <risa> Ya saben, las penitencias aquí son cantar, va. ¿De verdad? Sí. Esas son las penitencias, cantar. Imagen. Van a tener que cantar, entonces. <ríe> ¿Verdad, Carlita? Que esas son las sí. penitencias aquí. Sí. <ríe> Cantar. Vamos a oír a, aquí a, a José Alberto. Sleep. La última. Y se la puse. There may be accident of tripping over the computer equipment with the connection cables and the risk of spraining uh, the, the ankle and eh, ¿Quién era el otro que estaba con nosotros? Víctor. Víctor, el de Víctor era electricidad, pero no lo entendí mucho. Explosión. ¿Torri? Explosión. 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 Ok. Electro. Cuchions, así se escribe también electrocutions. Electrocutions. Overloading, okay. overloading, o sea, sobrecarga, mm -hmm. overloading of circuits. Overloading Ooh, of circuits. Yes. <clears throat> If for fire is high hearing. For? Uh, high heating. Heating. High, dice. High, de alto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. High heating. Y smoke near from flammable substance. Ahorita le voy a mandar. Flammable. No sé Ajá, uh -huh. from flammable Carla ya lo escribió. Es que no lo puedo escribir, es que hoy estoy con el teléfono. Ah, ¿quién de notebook, Carlita? En, escríbalo en el WhatsApp, entonces. Hoy en el este, José, ¿cuál, le tocó, ¿cuál riesgo le tocó a usted? Eh, hazard. 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 
That's ah, a good troll sense. Okay. Well, and that that goes with your job, right? Because you have a lot of substances where you work. No. Yeah? No. No. Ah, no, it's the, the, and the paint? It, it's for my last job. Oh. And the, from my, my wife workplace. Okay. Too. Yeah, because that's dangerous, right? Yes. In, in, in the, in the workplace, the my wife workplace. Wife. They they use uh, some uh, substance for the cleaning. That is very very dangerous. Very dangerous. It's toxic, and sometimes I can see that uh, for a couple of minutes they. <laughs> Breath. Uh, breath, the 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 liquids <gasps> and and uh, red eyes. Uh, hasta las manos se les pone bien feas. But they wear masks. No necessary equipment. No. Mm. That is the, the, the usually, but uh, the employees always say uh, it's more fast and, and, and yeah. I, I, I have a lot of experience and it's quickly uh, don't use the, the, the equipment. They don't, oh my goodness. Uh -huh, that's what we were saying, right? That mm -hmm. sometimes they want to avoid a... Uh, wearing the equipment for saving time or for whatever situation, but they forget about all the risks that they are running when they do not use the equipment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's very, very dangerous. Okay, have you finished? Yes, teacher. Nobody missing? Ready to chair, right? Yes, it's it. Okay, vámonos, pues. Because that's waiting for you. Ay, voy a leer yo las mías. No las puede copiar. Ah, it's okay. Don't listen, teacher. Oh, sorry. Y yo, ¿quién va a ser mi volunteer? Y hasta allá busqué a quien, Adriana Marcela. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Let me share my screen. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, we was working with where we were working where? with Anna and Nubia. Okay. And we have this for office hazards, mental fatigue, postural mm -hmm. fatigue, and stress. Okay. Uh, for hazardous substance, bleach, ammonium, and mm -hmm. carbon dioxide. 
especially when sometimes people uh, have the the last a uh, the last of the bottle and change for example water water bottles and that is very dangerous because you can uh, confuse the bleach for water and drink or make something the dangerous dangerous that happened to my father really yeah my mom had put bleach in in a bottle mm -hmm. that was for water right wow. and then he took it and he drank wow. and he was boiling the beans and he put some on the beans too <laughs> but when he uh, he was he was about to drink, but it went up to here, and then he when he felt it was very strong, he mm -hmm. dropped it. Mm -hmm. But he of course he had to go to the hospital to be checked exactly. and everything, and the beans were lost <laughs> because they okay. were not able to to be eaten after that. Exactly. Okay. And for hazard and hazards and risk, we have Anna was saying that in his work, in uh, her work, in her, work uh -huh, her uh, the fathers uh, don't follow the the traffic rules. So sometimes uh, they the no they could have an accident. They could have accidents. Mm -hmm. So uh, we discuss discuss about that. Uh, sometimes don't follow traffic rule for avoid accident is very important. Uh, uh, the, then we have doesn't have drills frequently and doesn't have sign signaling the safety areas for emergency, for example, earthquakes and fire. Where should you go? Uh -huh. Exactly. exactly. Very nice. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Where should children, or if somebody is lost, where is the best place to meet exactly. that person, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Electricity and fire hazards. We have short circuit, bare wires, and avoid to have a beverage near electrical equipment for accidents. It's very important. Definitely. Then for a sleep, finally for a sleep, strips, and fall risk. Uh, falls at different levels. For example, when you are, uh, uy, subiendo grada. How do you say subiendo grada? Going up the stairs. Uh -huh. You could uh, have an accident. So it's very important you have a, a the necessary preca precaution. 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 And then avoid to have heavy things on places that represent fall risk. And you have you have to to try to put those things in uh, the first levels mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and not in the high places right like over your exactly. hair uh -huh. exactly and uh, sleep on uh, wet areas that's all we discussed okay very good thank you thank you Room number two, David, Diego, Jose Alfredo y Rosa Hilda. A Rosy vamos a poner. <laughs> ok, teacher. A los que no estuvieron ayer estoy escogiendo. <laughs> ya veo, teacher, ya no vuelvo a faltar. Bueno, creo. No, ya no vuelva a faltar. <laughs> okay, Office hazard, uh, false, ergonomic risk. Mm -hmm. Falling objects, curtains and pictures, and hazards, substance, ammonium, blends, flammable liquids, and propane gas, and other hazards and risks, electricity and fire hazard, short circuit, gas cylinder explosion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Electric shock and a sleep trips and fall tricks, sleeper. How do you pronounce it? Sleep, sleep, sleepery sleep, floors, a slippery floors, housekeeping, sleep without anti sleep, and 
heat with objects at the same level and lack of signage. Mm -hmm. The signal, right? The signal in uh, what direction you're going. A very common accident is with the doors that open like this to the two sides, right? Somebody coming can push the door and the one that is going or trying to enter can have an accident. So yeah, that's something to consider too. Thank you, Rosy. Number three, Jose, Alberto, Karen, Stephanie, Carla, Lorena, and Victor. As everybody was in class yesterday, I will let you free to choose who. Yo veo que nadie quiere hablar. <laughs> A ver. Voy a hablar yo. Vaya, pues. Office hazard. A danger in the office is sleeping due to the very slippery floor and heavy a uh, contusion head. Uh -huh. Electricity and fire hazard. Flushing, electrocution, overloading circuits. Hazard. Hazardous substance in different work <clears throat> areas such as a restaurant and clothing factory. There are cleaning areas that have dangerous toxic systems. As um, sleep trips and fall trips, there may be accidents of tripping over the computer equipment with the connection cables and the risk. Of spraining the uncle, the ankle. One of the most common accidents, right? <laughs> yes. Your ankles. Yeah. The ankles and grits. And the last one, lo dirá Carla. Uh, I write about um, my work in the construction. Mm -hmm. oh, there is a lot of risk. Well, a lot of hazard, right? Yes. Falls on the same level to the tripping, sleeping heights and cuts. Falls to different levels. Ooh. Falling. Mm, for two different levels, for example, in a lifting platform. Oh, falling objects due to collapse. Entrap entrapment. I, I don't know how to call it. the pronunciation. Entrapped by orbiting objects. Full steps uh, on object. Collision with moving object. Only. Okay, very good. Yeah, imagine uh, you're working, right? And you're working in a high place and then the, the hammer falls. If somebody's down, that would be terrible. The hammer falling on the other person's head. Sure. Okay. Now, give me a second. Okay, vamos a ver el room number four, Edwin Mauricio, Elda Cristina and Grace. Edwin Mauricio, Elda Cristina, Grace, who will talk? Only one. A Grace le toca, ¿verdad? Grace, 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 are you in class? No, 
she's not here. Adriana Sofía, Elmer Fabricio, Lizette Yanara y Rebeca. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. Hello. Go ahead. We are all ears. Okay. Es un dicho, así se dice, oye, no, y ya me imagino que yo solo fuera orejas, ¿no? <laughs> Es una idiomatic expression. Cuando usted dice we are all ears, es que estamos listos para escuchar. <laughs> Vaya, go ahead, your turn. Adriana, can you help me to share the, share the... Okay, thank you. Adriana, Sofía. Okay, go ahead. And the uh, office hazards. We... We um I don't say hot coffee, hot coffee, because um that much for tuning, for example, in the desk on the chair is broke. It's broken. It's broken. Mm -hmm. Or gets broken in the moment, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Could be um, the hazard substance, for example, is is dangerous uh, alcohol, acid, uh, solvent, and electricity fire fire hazard is under a short circuit fire outbreak. And sleep, trips, and fall risk, wet floor, objects on the floor, is there with no anti sleep, and poor illumination. Mm -hmm. and poor illumination can cause serious problems. Yes. And many people can fall down if they cannot see the way. So that's something to watch, to watch out. Okay, thank you, yeah. thank you, Rebecca. Let's see the last one. Oh, you were the last one, mira. Y qué puntuales somos nosotros, qué bárbaros. One minute to ten. ¿Quién se va a quedar conmigo ahora? Vamos a ver. Ta, 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 ta. Eh, Victor, ¿verdad, Victor? Yes. Ok. Adriana, Sofía. Present. Ok. Eh, Ana Alicia. Present, teacher. Ana, Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. No. David? Present teacher. Diego? Edwin Mauricio? Present teacher. Okay. Elda Cristina? Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Grace Michelle. No está Grace Michelle. Hmm. Apparently she's there. Okay. Ivo Marcela. Ivo Marcela. No vean mal. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jessica. José Alberto. Presente, Chel. 
Karen. Present. Karen Janet, ¿verdad? Eh, Carla Lorena. Present, teacher. Nubia. Present, teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present, teacher. Ok. Rebeca. Victor. Teacher, falto yo. ¿Quién? Present, Rosy. Ah, oh, Rosy, sorry, Rosy. <ríe> ya me la salté. Ok. Vamos a ver, Rosy, yes. Victor. Present. Eh, Karen Stephanie. Present, teacher. Adriana Marcela. Present, teacher. Y José Alfredo. Present, teacher. Okay. Teacher, present, Lizeth, no me mencionó. ¿Quién? Lizeth. Dayanara. No la mencioné. ¿Cómo no? No, se ay, pasó no. dentro de la nubia. Ay, no le creo. Estamos en directo ya. Es que ya después de las 10 de la noche. <ríe> ya no, ya no. Vaya, ya le puse presen allí. Ok, vaya, pues vámonos. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow Have a good night. Teacher. Ni porque me tomorrow. hizo participar mucho, me estaba olvidando. A ver. <ríe> good night, Good night. Teacher. Good night. But you see, you see Good, night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Es para que ya no se me pierda. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Take care. Victor. I'm here. Okay. Tell me, Victor, do you have any questions? Comments? Uh, just comment, just comment. It's a good way to, to present the class. It's an inter interactive way. It's so good. Yeah, the, the idea um, is that you have the chance, right, to, to share and to speak yes. with, with everybody. Yes, that's a good. Sometimes people feel nervous when they talk uh, to the teacher. But when they talk to a partner, it's like, I can do it, right? It's, it's not I can do it. <laughs> yes. No problem with that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's so, um, when we start the, the, the course, I thought the, I thought it's going to be boring. But when, when we started to share with class with classmates and uh, we started to participate about the topic and the topic is some I I comment with other classmates and and workmates I said it's like a master class from <laughs> marketing. <laughs> yes definitely definitely you're yes. learning marketing here. Yes that is a good That's so good. We, we are learning some mm, uh, more vocabulary. We are learning about uh, uh, fluently, fluently speaking. We are learning includes uh, to think in English. Yeah. So good. And, and the thing is that well, that's one of the most difficult things to think in English. Sometimes we tend to write the things in Spanish, translated to English, right? But yes. thinking in Spanish, and of course, the order of the words is totally different when you're thinking in Spanish and then writing in English. Totally. Yes. That's why it is very important to, to read, to listen, to watch information so you get familiarized 
with, uh, with the language, but so familiarized that you're even thinking and dreaming in English. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because when you start dreaming in English, it's because you feel like, okay, now I did what I was supposed to do. <laughs> yes. Um, so I, I have studied English, but it's, um, it's, it's like two steps, uh, like three steps. Mm -hmm. When I studied, when I studied in basic school, like is seven to nine grade, um, I learned, I learned, I learned much, a lot of, a lot of English, but only, but only reading. Uh -huh. Exactly. I, I, I had difficult to listen and difficult to speak. Luego, and then um, I studied in an in academy. So I, I, I learned listen, but not the speaking. Mm. Because, because uh, it's not, it's, there is an um, um, inter, how do you say interactive? Right. An interactive way. An interactive with classmate is just an hour uh, to listen the teacher, listen some videos and some record, some tracks. So that's that's all. Um, just complete some book. So I learn, I learn some listening. Now I am now I am in the three step, in the step three. Me is mm -hmm. is about the speaking. Yeah, I am getting I, I am getting uh, a little affluent, so I hope learn more about it. Definitely, definitely, and it could be better if we could uh, put some audio from from outside, but unfortunately we cannot do it, right? Yes, we, if, because of the the rights of the author rights. If we could do it, that would be much better because you could have the, the conversations in an audio of native speakers. But unfortunately, we cannot do that. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so the only thing we can do is uh, practice the conversations and practice, check the pronunciation, right? That on our own, not uh, not coming from an from an audio from an ex audio, but yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, there is no way to do it. It's not possible. If no YouTube will say mm -mm, no 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 no, <laughs> <laughs> it's correct. Yeah, but okay. you know, in the manual there are some links that are videos. And you can yes yes sometimes I check that I check out that mm -hmm. and and you can make some practice and you know what it's a big difference uh, for example when you connect every day you participate in class you do some extra work outside it is the it, we can see the evidence of the learning and the developing that you're having in the language. But with the people that enter but don't speak or don't practice outside or don't listen to anything, don't read anything, don't do anything extra, uh, the learning is very slow. Very slow. Very, very slow. So I agree with you. If you want to do some extra learning, it's that you have to be there active. Right, not just I'm connected here, I'm here. But you're there uh, practicing, you're there talking, you're reading, you're writing, you're uh, completing, you're doing different things. You're putting into practice uh, the knowledge. And the thing is that when you do, you notice if you have a problem with something, right? And that's the right moment for you to ask. But if you're not doing, it's very difficult because what are you going to ask if you haven't done 
the things, right? Mm -hmm. That's yes. why uh, I'm always pushing, pushing, pushing. And I say sometimes, oops, people may get angry, but it's my responsibility to push if it is necessary, right? <laughs> so, I understand. Uh, yeah, because the learning comes with the practice. If you want to learn listening, you have to do listening. You have to learn, you want to learn to speak, you have to speak. There is no way. So you have to try. It's like when you want to swim, right? You want to learn how to swim. You have to go to the swimming pool and jump. Even if you are there, jump to the water and start trying to float. It's similar when learning a language. It's very, very it's similar. similar. Yeah. And that's yeah. why congratulations, Victor, because I see that you are uh, ready to participate. You're very active and you're trying to, to do your best. Definitely. And I can see that. Right. You're welcome. Yeah. That's a good. Thank you for your comment. That's I going to be. I going to continue uh, participating. And this is, is cool. It's tired. The course is tired. Yeah, but it's because good. of the time. Because of the time, it's, it's, it's a difficult time. I know. And I perfectly know that you're coming from work and everything. I'm also coming from work. <laughs> yeah, I have, <laughs> I have been teaching all, the, all, the, all day, right? So just a couple of hours free during the afternoon. But then uh, we are all in the same boat. We are all working and doing our best, right? But if if we want the success, we need an, an, an extra effort. And that's what I can see in your work. So congratulations. Continue like that and, and you will see, you will learn a lot, right? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I don't know if you have any other comment, Victor. No, there is another con other comment. Okay. Well, thank you for being here today and see you tomorrow. Have a nice day you. and a nice night. See you right? tomorrow. Have a nice. Tomorrow. Okay, a nice night. Yeah. Bye. See you.